guys thank you for clicking on this video for those of you who haven't been here before hi i'm elnaz entrepreneur and ceo of multi-million dollar company roiby now let's be real guys we all need to add a little more productivity into our lives whether it's for work or your personal hobbies you can potentially save yourself and your company a lot of money by just applying some simple productivity life hacks into your routine and maybe just maybe you'll get the promotion or deal you've been waiting for so long in this video, I'll be going through 10 of the best productivity life hacks for entrepreneurs. Let's get into it. Don't multitask. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about productivity is that trying to cram a number of different tasks into one and thinking that will help somehow. But that is not correct. See, you don't really want to end up like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. It's important to avoid multitasking unless you actually need to. If you try to do too many things at once, it can have disastrous effects on the quality of your work overall. Instead, you can divide your work into manageable time frames. For example, if you have many different tasks to do in one day, you can spend 30 minutes doing one task and 30 minutes doing another with short breaks in between. There are many different apps you can look for that will help you sort workload management, so be on the lookout for those as well. Brain dump once a week. Your mental health and capacity are just as important as the quality of your work, and oftentimes the two are interconnected. If you're worried about something, anything that's work-related or not, it can constantly occupy your thoughts and prevent you from working to your true extent. Many different experts recommend that you brain dump at least once a week to avoid worrying about small things all the time. You do this by writing down everything that you're constantly or passively worried about or thinking of Categorize them into things you can control and things you can't. For the things you can control, you should start working on getting those problems solved as soon as possible. For the things you can't, rip the paper apart and stop worrying about those things as they are unsolvable. I know it is hard to do this, but it is for your own good. Learn the importance of sleep. Sleeping is extremely important for work productivity. Most successful entrepreneurs will tell you about the importance of getting enough sleep, yet most young entrepreneurs barely get enough sleep despite most of them being severely overworked. Aside from your daily sleep that's important, you should consider small naps in the middle of the day as well if you haven't slept enough throughout the night. The time you go to sleep is also a very important thing to consider. Many entrepreneurs actually recommend you to go to sleep at 10.30 at night so you can wake up fully energized at around 6 in the morning. As the morning is considered the best time to work with the least amount of distractions. Schedule your breaks ahead of time. People often have a misconception about breaks being unproductive. In reality, breaks are one of the most important factors relating to productivity and stress management. Your brain can only work from 90 to 120 minutes before it needs a break, a process that's known as the ultradian rhythm. If you are working long hours every day, you need a generous amount of breaks in between just to prevent yourself from becoming too tired while working. If you don't take a break after those 90 minutes of constant work, your work will very likely be of inferior quality even if you do manage to push through with work by stressing yourself out further. Too much stress while working can have negative effects on not just your current work but also your future work. 
So you should try your best to avoid that. Keep your phone away from you. Many people rely on their phones for work and this isn't exactly directed towards them but even if you do rely on your phone for work I recommend you use a work phone that doesn't have as many distractions as a regular smartphone. Your smartphone is a small supercomputer with all of the information in the world that fits right into your pocket the act of simply checking a notification can suck you into an endless feed of entertaining content it is best that you keep your phone away from you while working in order to avoid any and all distractions that might negatively affect your work and overall productivity Instead, use your phone only during breaks or emergencies. Don't leave your phone on the top of the table and keep it within a desk. Know when to say no. One of the most exposing characteristics of a weak entrepreneur as well as an unproductive worker is their inability to say no. Social pressure and assumptions about consequences can make it extremely hard for any of us to say no. We might be worried about the implications of rejecting something or simply worrying about someone else's feelings. But learning to accept rejection and also learning to reject is an essential skill for any entrepreneur. Rejecting tasks or work based on their importance is very important for you if you want to keep your schedule light and manageable. Don't be scared of a little bit of lost income in exchange for much better work quality. By keeping it light, you'll find yourself with more time and opportunities to work as effectively as possible. Don't be scared of isolating yourself. Why we may have learned the importance of isolation for your health over the past year, isolating yourself from other people can also be a great way to improve productivity. Unless you are doing a group project that requires other people or a task where you need to follow a lot of instructions, other people are simply a distraction when it comes to working. You should always try to get a separate office if you can, as shared spaces will often just lead to unnecessary interactions with other people around you. When working, keep all of your interactions strictly work-related and pick some other time for friendly social interactions. You can also have one hour of isolation period, usually at the start of the day. If you are not willing to commit to working entirely on your own, this can help kickstart your day and improve work for the rest of it. Use productivity apps. I've already mentioned the use of apps to help you through work management, but there are a bunch of apps that you can try out to become a more productive person. For example, the Sleep Cycle app is an app that monitors the way you sleep and it can help you schedule a proper sleeping time for you and also help you manage a routine. Microsoft 365 can easily help you sort out all your work without having to go through so many different apps all the time. AnyDo is a scheduling app that can help you sort out all your daily tasks, which is something We'll also be talking about shortly. Review your performance weekly. Every week, you should take some time and evaluate everything you did in the past week. You should be able to point out what little things were there that helped you work more efficiently and what were your biggest difficulties. This way, you'll know your biggest strengths and weaknesses and you can focus on improving your weaknesses and taking advantage of some of your strengths while also cutting out anything that negatively affects your work. Analyze the work you get done and the work you couldn't get done. Examine why you couldn't get certain tasks done and use this knowledge to help yourself out for any future tasks you might have. This can help you streamline your work schedule in ways you wouldn't never even imagine before. Plan out your whole day in advance. Finally, the most important productivity life hack for entrepreneurs or anyone is that you should always plan out your whole day in advance 
and stick to that schedule as effectively as possible. In that schedule, you should always add space for any miscellaneous tasks that you might have to do as well as extra time for leisure activities or breaks. But overall, sticking to the schedule both during and outside of work is what's important. As I've just mentioned, there are also a ton of apps such as AnyDo that can help you sort out your schedule in ways you could never imagine. It can even make recommendations for your schedule. So don't be afraid to try out an app that can help you this way. That's a wrap for this video. Which one of these hacks would you like to apply to your daily life? Let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. See you next time.